Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 111, verse 2. I have much treasure in this city for you, for the benefit of Zion, and many people in this city whom I will gather up in due time for the benefit of Zion through your instrumentality. Okay, so there is much treasure for us still. The atonement helps us to realize that we are so much more than imperfect mortals, that we are treasures of God sent here to have mortal experiences, that we might have the choice of whether or not we come back to our Father in Heaven someday. And the treasures that Heavenly Father has for us are blessings and trials. Because both will benefit us, both will help us grow, and both help us to show gratitude and stay close to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Our lives are not easy. They will never be easy. But it's possible for us to endure. Because Christ went through everything we well, we are or will go through. He, he's gone through everything we have, will, and are going through right now. He has, he has borne all sins, all sicknesses, all pains. He's cried them out in tears of blood. That we might be able to know that we are valuable treasures of God. And that we of the benefit of Zion, and that we have nothing to fear, because the Lord will be with us as long as we want Him to be. And there are those treasures, well, all treasures of God have a purpose, we have a purpose. And we will be gathered to do our purpose in our due time, according to the Lord's will and, our t and His timeline, and our faith and our desire to be part of the Lord's plan. And we have a purpose that will benefit the unity, because Zion is unity, being of one heart and one mind. Being in agreement of the direction that should be taken. And we are all instruments in the Lord's hands. If we want to be, we can all do great things by the Spirit of God, if we want to. And in the Lord's timeline, we will each have a chance to slowly but surely fulfill our purpose. Or quickly, depending on how, how we're supposed to. And how the Lord wants us to. Through us being instruments in the hands of the Lord, we can help other people come unto Christ, embrace the atonement, realize, their realize that they are treasures, and also help them to figure out what purpose they serve to the Lord, what purpose they have, and how they can be an instrument in the Lord's hands. We treasures are instruments in the Lord's hands that we may be able to seek out others who don't yet know of their value and help them to become instruments in the Lord's hands by the Spirit of God. We are all treasures of our Heavenly Father. He loves us. We love Him. Jesus Christ died so that we might know we are treasure. And because we are treasure, we have the responsibility to also serve, if we so choose, as instruments in the Lord's hands, that we might be able to help gather others in the time of the Lord and for the benefit of Zion and help them to become aware of the realization that they are treasures of God as well, and that they have a purpose, and that they are meaningful.
We are all meaningful if we choose to see it. We are treasures of Zion. And it's because of Jesus Christ that we know this again. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.